Hi everybody, this is Patrick back from the 8-Track Tape Store. And what we just covered in the last videos is an entire series on um, how to open the 12 most common uh, tape cartridge types that we run into in our store. Um, but there's others, there's many others. Here's eight different 8-Track Tapes. These were not covered in the videos. They're, they're quite rare. Um, <clears throat> but they're, and they're all different and a lot of these are associated with truck stop tapes or they're, they're small companies that produce them this one is a scotch recording tape it's a bit of a fortress um, if you need help opening any other type of uh, eight track tape cartridge that we didn't cover in our video series just drop us a line you can um, leave a youtube comment or reach out to our store. The URL is um, in the description to this video. You can also contact us through email from our store's homepage. Um, and we'll be happy to, you know, try to do that for you. Um, let's put these aside. I mentioned that this whole video series was uh, peer reviewed by a couple of luminaries out there in the 8-track world. And one of them, um, was John Constantino from A Track Avenue, and the other fella was uh, Patrick Craig from uh, A Tracks in the Wild, the Facebook group, and uh, they 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 um, gave feedback and comments on you know different tools that people are using out there and different methods. So let's discuss a few of those briefly. Um, so there's a the video we did on these uh, cartridges with metal pins. I think that's the only video that the chip clip idea appears in. And so you can use that here as you're applying heat and kind of use that to help open the tape. This is uh, John Constantino's idea. It's really brilliantly simple. Um, and you can use this, uh, you know, with other tapes. So you could use it in a three tap cartridge as you're putting the screwdriver in you could uh you could use it in a uh, warner cart as you're opening that um also um that same video i think is the only time that this tool appears i'm not sure you're going to have this in your garage this is a um a snap ring pliers but um you know this works really well opening uh tapes if you happen to have one like it or any really any reverse uh pressure pliers or tool um you can use those on you know all of these cards um there's another tool out there you'll see mentioned in various facebook groups and whatnot um not that but uh this so this is a um uh, especially tool you're only going to have in your garage if you're an auto mechanic um, this is this is used to remove upholstery upholstery from the inside of a car door you know that soft lining that you have where the handle is um, probably not going to have that and uh, in my experience with it it's actually not terribly useful I think it puts pressure over too wide of an area and this one this tool we have kind of has sharp points I don't like it so um, I don't use it anymore. Um, uh, let's talk about other methods. So there's uh, this is the the uh, the Warner cart uh, that we worked on in the Warner video, um, and I showed three ways to open this. There's uh, you know the tool we use, which you're not going to have unless you want to ruin a steak knife by shaving off the point. Um, we love this because of its flexibility and all of that. It's not really going to break a tab ever. And I suggested, though, that most people use uh, a screwdriver, which is true. And I showed this very long one um, uh, that was used to open it in the video. But um, you also might have a stubby screwdriver like this. So um, this is going to be a little easier because you, you basically can maintain control over the handle of the screwdriver better. Um, the main point of these uh, is that the end is going to be, you know, wide and sharp. So you can get in uh, behind the tab. So um, this is a good idea. 
Um, let's see what else. The video on um, this cartridge style. These are the ones that are sealed uh, by the factory um, before they, you know, as they're made. Um, we showed how to open these, and um, you could, of course, use chip clip and all of that. Um, but uh, one thing that I didn't uh, really elaborate on were the glues. So um, there's a couple of glues I showed in the video. I, you know, I used the, the green cap one. This is super glue gel. And that dries very quickly. In probably 20 minutes, it's good to go. The, um, the regular super glue, which I think most people have, if you choose to use it, it's going to take a couple of hours to dry. So when you do let it dry, you know, with a weight on it, like we showed in the video, it's important not to touch it until it's firmly set. Because I mentioned there, there, you know, you may have a drip coming out on the side here that you have to wipe off. Well, it can also have a drip on the inside that you can't see. And so if you start moving it around too early, you run the risk of, um, you know, the tape inside actually gluing itself to the wall. So you don't want to do that. Um, you know, and there's other things you can do. Like uh, this is a weight, which I think is easy for most people. If you happen to have, um, you know, some kind of a, a vice like this, that will work as well. Um, you know, there's different ways to skin a cat in the A-Track world. Um, and I think that is it for the tools I wanted to mention. Um, what we're going to talk about next are, is really an idea from Patrick Craig to discuss how to uh, preserve labels um, more thoroughly uh, when you're opening and closing the tape. So I'm going to do that now. So let's talk about uh, preserving the labels when you're opening and closing cartridges. So the record companies, uh, to their credit, um, mostly designed labels that would not cross over the seams on the edge. Uh, when we open a cartridge, we always want to look on this, uh, this edge to see if the label's crossing the seam, so we know if we have to, you know, a potential problem with cracking that label. This one's not. It's very easy to open. It's going to separate and the label's going to be intact, um, so we don't worry about uh, cartridges like that. There's others, though, um, this is the, uh, the Who cartridge, where this label actually slightly crosses over the seam. That's common. And the Stephen Stills uh, cartridge is the same. It's slightly crossing over where the, uh, where the uh, cartridge is going to separate the top from the bottom. That, um, and so uh, you want to be cautious of that. You know, a lot of times uh, when you examine these labels, they're, they're slightly coming apart already from, uh, from weathering. And just the glue, uh, you know, after 50 years starts undrying. So you might find this partially glued along here. And so what we might do is take a razor blade and just finish the job. So we slide the razor blade under there. Make sure that's completely free, and then uh, then we can open the cartridge, and we're not going to tear the label. Um, so that's one little trick that uh, we do in the shop. Um, let's see. Uh, so we kind of talked about that. There's um, some labels like this one. This is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, that come all the way around. Uh, it's basically one label that covers both sides and the end. And those are going to be problematic. So, you know, we, we've become very good at opening these without having to break labels. Um, and I showed you in a couple of videos how these kind of lean up and you prop it against, you know, a tool while you're working on it. Um, so that's definitely possible. Especially with these three tab cartridges, they're pretty easy to lean up there. Um, with a five tab cartridge like this one, this label also goes uh, all the way around here and it crosses the seam here. These are more tricky. So, with five tab cartridges, you can, um, 
you know, open it the normal way, and you can try to lean it up. There's, uh, you know, pins in the corners here that make it difficult. And if you get it open, it's, um, it's even harder to put it back down. And what you don't want to do is, like, create a split where it's an uneven zigzag edge. That's just poor form. And, uh, you know, this one we were able to, to do properly, but it takes a lot of experience to do that, to be able to open and close a five-tab cartridge where the, uh, the label's crossing the seam. So I would recommend, uh, for beginners especially, that when you have a label crossing a seam and you can't, like, pry it up, um, that you just take the razor blade along the seam and create a straight line because a straight line uh, break in the uh, in the label is going to look a lot better than a zigzaggedy edge that you ripped so um, that's just a little advice from experience there and um, also when you're closing these you can save the seams or save the labels in a couple of different ways um, let's take the Stephen Stills for example so, uh, I'm going to open this really quick. So, this is a three tab cartridge. We're going to open it that way. This label is slightly crossing uh, the, uh, the two tabs in the corner. So, I'm going to use a smaller tool and try not to disturb that label. So, I think that was successful. Um, but this label was crossing slightly. So what we do when we want to close this, if you were to leave the label up the way it was, you're going to close this and munch the label. So we always want to like fold that back a little bit. Um, let's get this back in place. And then when you're, when you're closing the cartridge, with this label out of the way, you're going to be able to close it and not munch the label. So, do it like that. And we showed that in the video. Uh, and then you've saved the label. You can glue this back down or not, or just press it with your finger. Whatever you feel is, is uh, the best way. And um, I think that's about it. You want to be careful with your labels for sure. Um, it's just a good form preserves them uh, nicely. You'll feel better about your collections that way. Uh, especially these end labels because you stack them, you know, like this. And you want, when you're looking at your collection, you want to be able to, you know, see that you did a good job with them, I guess. So um, anyway, that's it on labels. And I hope you've enjoyed the series. Um, what we're going to uh, present next is an entire video series on once you've opened the carts, what's next? I mean, what are the common things you need to do inside them to repair them? Uh, it's going to cover cleaning. It's going to cover uh, uh, the foam pads, the rollers, um, different conditions you'll find in the cart with, with tension um respooling and all of that so all the things you'll need to do to do common repairs on eight track tape cartridges that's in the next series so i hope you've enjoyed this series this is patrick speaking on behalf of patrick and mary from the eight track tape store.com thank you